makes me feel very uneasy. Ron Zamir with the United Jewish Federation of Utah says his son is currently in Tel Aviv. So he sends me a picture from the air raid shelter of his baby who's four months old playing with another four month old baby. It's a photo Zamir wouldn't share out of respect for his family. Here in Utah on Tuesday, Zamir reacting as Iran launched dozens of missiles into Israel. It takes 12 minutes for these missiles to reach Israel from Iran. These are missiles the size of a bus. What is Iran trying to achieve? A spokesman for the Israeli military says the country's air defenses intercepted many of those incoming missiles. That attack heightening an already tense conflict between Israel and Iran-backed militias Hezbollah and Hamas. We have 181 uh, high-speed, technologically advanced, incredibly destructive um, ballistic missiles fired at a tiny country the size of New Jersey. Rabbi Sam Spector is with Congregation Kol Amin. He also spoke about the shooting on Tuesday that took place moments before the missiles were launched by Iran, where six people were left dead after two suspects opened fire in the Jaffa neighborhood before being killed. That this is not a fight of Jews against Muslims at the end of the day. Again, this is a fight of uh, good against evil. Fox 13 News spoke with Satin Tashnizi, the executive director of the Emerald Project in Salt Lake. Iran's retaliation has been predicted for quite some time. I think that's why so many people, even domestically in the U.S. and in Europe and around the world, have been urging Israel to to do a ceasefire. Tashnizi is also Muslim and the daughter of Iranian immigrants. Israel has assassinated the leader of Hezbollah. Israel has also expanded ground operations into Lebanon. I mean, in a matter of days, escalation went from strikes to ground invasion. She gave her thoughts on how the situation in the Middle East could be de-escalated. I think the United States needs to stop arming Israel. We just, you know, sent over $8.7 billion. And I believe, for one, that this war will end and it will end with help by the United States and other countries. Well, on Tuesday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to retaliate against Iran. Overlooking downtown Salt Lake, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.